Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin, and today I'm going to share with you another theme video, but this time on the splendid chicken. That's right. Bank notes from around the world that depict the chicken. Before I go any further, though, I'd like you to click that subscribe button and like and share my videos as widely as you know how to. And with that, we're going to get started with some chickens on bank notes. Um, but before we do that, even, let's talk a little bit about what a chicken is. A chicken is a jungle fowl that over time has become what we see as the modern domesticated chicken. They originally are from Southeast Asia. While mostly used as food or kept as pets, they um, have also been widely used as fighting around the world. There are far more chickens in the world than there are any other bird. Most chickens found here in the Americas had origins that were in the Indian subcontinent. So, I mean, there you go. They were um, also, by the ancient Egyptians, known as the bird that gave birth daily. Isn't that crazy? I think it's crazy but cool. They live to be about 5 to 10 years old on their own, but 2 years is the norm here in the United States for layers. And um, the poor broiler, well, they only get to grace us with their presence for 6 to 14 weeks. Take a look at some of the banknotes I've been able to accumulate that have the splendid chicken. The first note I want to share with you is from the uh, Equatorial Guinea. And uh, the chicken you see on the front is right here. And the neat thing is you see one here as part of their arms too. But when you take this note and turn it over... There's the chicken right there. So on this very first note that I'm sharing with you, the chicken serves as an offset register. I think that's pretty cool. So there you go. The first chicken note. Here's our second chicken note on a Republic of, of Malawi. And you can see it serves the same function. And at first I thought it was the same chicken, but it's not. It's a little bit different chicken right here. And when you turn this note over... There, there it is right there, serving again as an offset register. Our third note that we're sharing today is from Kenya. This is a 20 shilling, and it's from the uh, 1980s, and it's like, okay, there is a chicken somewhere on this note, and I remember thinking, why did I put this um, on here? Because I, I don't see a chicken anywhere, and then I realized right there on the arms is a chicken. I want to double check to make sure there's not one on here. Oh yeah, there is a chicken. You see the feather falling out of that lion's mouth? <laughs> actually, I think it's this lion here gagging on the chicken feather. No, nope, the chicken is actually part of the arms of the nation that you saw in the front of the note. Moving to Macau, we have one of the splendid um, Asian Zodiac banknotes where uh, we have... The Year of the Chicken. This happens to be the Banca National or Trimarino. And there is also a Bank of China version with the same design, just different legends. So there you go. Chicken is part of the Zodiac. Followed by a thousand pesos of Guinea-Bissau. And this is a lovely note. Um, Amilcar Cabral's worth his own um, video, and he'll probably get it one of these days. We have a weaver over here. We have a milk car over here on the end. And on the back, we have the Apotheos of... Ap Apotheos of Triumph. And there's a whole lot going on on this note. There's some weaponry. There's a lot of nudity. There's some spiritual scenes. There's horses and nudity, and I don't, I don't know, a whole bunch of scary stuff on here. However, if you look here at the front, we got bananas from the banana note. We got a little pineapple. We got other fruits and vegetables, and then over here, there's like a little sheep or a goat, and then there is your chicken right there. I mean, one could be figured for thinking that this <laughs> note had no chickens on it, but yes, it was. Yes, it did, right there in the very corner. Now, here's a note that I wasn't expecting to see chickens on. Um, you know, when I get a new note, I like to brainstorm on what it might be, and I try to figure out where I can put this. And I thought, hey, I can put this on a banknote with bow ties, or I can put this on uh, a banknote theme that has a building with a cut-off corner. And then I thought, well, I could put one this on a 
on a coat or you know a horn of plenty i mean there's just a lot of things i thought i could put this on and then when i flipped the note over i saw this cute little visage of a village around a lagoon and um to my surprise over here from the top all the way down to the bottom you see outlined in silver you see little chickens i don't know why that is but they are there there's no arguing that there are chickens on that note let's move to this one dollar from zimbabwe this bank note is uh from 2009 Zimbabwe and there's a cow there so this bank note has figured in my cow videos and when you look at the rural scene on the back side of the note where they're grinding some sort of grain you have village huts there are fields over here that are planted there's a nice little road there fencing it's all nice and there you go a little flock of chickens right there kind of cute huh Moving from there to Europe, we have this Armenia 500 Drem. And I, I like it. It's it's a very strong Noah's Ark theme. In fact, the the clear part of the note is Noah's Ark. Um, there's a reliquary that's supposed to have a piece of the Ark. And over here, we have the dove with the olive branch in its mouth. And of course, in the background, that would be Mount Ararat. I love this note. It came from 2017. You turn it over, and you see a lot of animals on this note. You see Noah and Ham, Sham, and Japheth, or Japheth. You see a bird there. You see a camel with two humps. Looks like a, a horse. There's a bear. <laughs> There's a leopard. There's a lion. There's a, looks like a fox. And then over here, we have dogs. We have a, some sort of ram. There's a goose. Is that a raccoon? I'll have to double check that. But there's some sort oh, that might be a hedgehog right there. There's a bunny rabbit, and look, we got a little chicken right there. A chicken, y'all. I guess they helped Noah survive on the ark. Moving from there, we're going to the Maldives. And the Maldives, or Maldives, I don't really know how to say it, because it's not a language I, sp I speak, are some of my favorite uh, banknotes. They're very ornate, and I love that they use a script uh, known only to them. Some nice seashells over here at this end, and a nice boat over here. Some coconuts in the middle. And on the back, a lovely bucolic scene that makes me want to just pick up my roots and move right over there and, and risk the, the raising water levels. And here we go, in the shade of a village tree, we have a bunch of people doing the things of life in this village, and that includes little kids feeding chickens. <laughs> We're going to stay in the Maldives because... I have another note that has a, another even more impressive marketing scene. I've seen some uh, places in Portugal that I want to live that has a giant tree with netting and branches shading, you know, the whole plaza or the walkway for the villagers. And here again we have bananas, we have shopkeepers, we have men wearing those lovely sarongs, although I don't know if they're called sarongs in the Maldives, but I have one of those. And my whole family hates it whenever I wear it. They much prefer me wearing the kilts that I wear. And here we have in the foreground bunches of chickens. Chickens everywhere. My sister went to Hawaii and said they were tripping over them every time they went to the beach. Going to Japan. And unexpectedly we have this um, early note. This early in. And there you go. You have a chicken right there. Uh, crowing for all its delight. And corn. Chicken and corn. Now I'm getting hungry for chicken chowder. And when I first got this note, I thought, oh, it's from Japan too. And then I just assumed those were um, imperial dragons, but they weren't. They're actually a special kind of chicken <laughs> that to this day um, is one of the cultural treasures of Japan. Then I thought it was a fantastic bon huang or, you know, some sort of phoenix. But no, there is literally chickens in Japan that have tail feathers that can be 15 to 20 foot long. And here we have a couple of them flying through the air on this Japanese banknote. Lovely 5 yen. Lovely. I You have to look up those Japanese uh, dragon chickens to, to believe it, you know, if you don't believe me. Now this one, I'm not sure I should have included this in this video. 
because it's from uh, Sweden, and not that Sweden's not allowed to have chickens on their notes, but, um, well, let's turn it to the other side. I think this is a plate note, actually, so if you actually have a Krause catalog still, the serial number is, is what's in the book, because they took a picture of this note for the book, and I own the plate. Okay, take a look at this. At first, I couldn't decide if this was an eagle, if it was a turkey, if it was a chicken, if it was a peacock, or what. Um, I, I think I found some literature that claims it to be a chicken, but that's a pretty eagly looking chicken. So, what's your thoughts? Did I, did I include a banknote in my chicken category that shouldn't have? Why don't you let me know? Why don't you click subscribe? Why don't you like this video, share it, and start a good debate with me? Comment, is this a chicken on the back of the Swedish note? I'm Benjamin. This is Numismatic, this is Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Like and subscribe and have a jewel of a day.